<laughs> Number one, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know this brother very, very well. Um, he doesn't need any introduction. This is my folk, Denzel Washington, ladies and gentlemen. Denny. He, he made a little bit of news because his son said, I think the best actor in the industry, in the business, is my father. Y'all know John David Washington, ballers. We're lobbying for him to be the next T'Challa in Black Panther. He's the son of Denzel Washington. And Denzel Washington is a multiple Oscar winner. And so the question that I pose to you, Larry, even though we know that Denzel Washington's son is extremely biased, me and you aren't. Does he have a case to be made that Denzel Washington is the best in the game when it comes to acting in Hollywood, in America? Yeah. I mean... Hey. Make a case. I, I mean, I, I think if you just look at his body of work, I think it's pretty evident. I mean, he's he's the he's the best actor of, of our generation and the best actor, arguably, I would say, of, of all time. I know a lot of people would like to try and throw other actors in there like Marlon Brando and and Charlton Heston and some of those guys. But I would have to say that. I would have to I would have to discount those guys in some respect because you I mean this is this is a guy who has who has created a career and won Oscars um, in the midst of Hollywood's wait, Larry, racism wait, wait, and bigotry. Wait, wait, Larry, wait, wait, wait. Uh huh. CJ thirty two, you got to be trolling. You he trying always to sit trolls, here, man. You trying to sit here and tell me that. Den Leon Denzel Washington can't tie Leonardo DiCaprio's shoes. You disqualified. You you disqualified oh, for being that low. We can't take you serious no more. And I try to take you seriously, but to say that Le Denzel can't tie Leonardo DiCaprio's shoes, forget it. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah, that's just sort of ridiculous. I mean, I'm not gonna diss Leonardo DiCaprio, but here's no, the thing: I I'm not dissing him. That's not a diss, Larry. I'm not. I'm not. I know. I, I hear what you're saying. I just think it's ridiculous for him to even say that. But here's the thing that people have to realize is that when you are a black actor in Hollywood, that you have to make the best that you can. You have to. You have to deliver Oscar caliber, you know, performances on roles in movies that may not be Oscar caliber movies. You know. I mean, these are they they don't give those roles typically to black folks. Black folks have to turn those movies into Oscar movies. They're not given they're, those movies that they're cast in generally are not Oscar movies. They don't get these movies. And say, oh, this has Oscar buzz to it. Nah, those movies were regular movies that black people got cast in and then they acted the crap out of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not forget that he won an Oscar for Training Day. Training Day was not an Oscar caliber. Was, Training Day was a shoot 'em up cops and robbers movie, and he made that movie something special. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not forget about. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, there's a lot of politics in the way they deliver Oscars out there, and and I think that they like to reward black actors for roles that they want to see us in. They want to see us being the corrupt, dirty cops, so they give them an Oscar for it. But the just the year before, I think that that Denzel delivered probably one of the be one of the best performances any actor has ever given in a movie, which was in Hurricane. I think that was probably the finest performance an actor has ever delivered on the screen. And they decided instead that they didn't want to, they didn't, even though they knew it was a great role and a great performance, I think that they gave it to to what's his name kevin spacey that year because they didn't want to give it to a black man for playing a positive role for writing the wrong the injustices of our of our criminal justice system i don't think they wanted to reward a performance with that sort of story and that sort of message instead they wanted they wanted to pr continue to perpetuate the stereotype of the negative you know the, the negativity the bad cop the corrupt cop the black dude that's in that and, and so i think they wanted that and that's why they rewarded him with that because what happens is you reward people with that, and then the studios say, "Well, let's make a movie like this. This is what the this is what the Academy wants. This is what the Academy awards you with." I mean, when you look at all the when you look at the roles that Black people win for, 
that are winning for, you know, bad cop, dirty cop, criminal. The women win it for being a, uh, you know, Naked, for being a, uh, a, a, house, a maid or something like Yeah. The, I mean, the one exception to that, and it's not even an exception because, because, well, no, I guess it is an exception. I guess it's just the one exception to that is, is, um, what was that one with, with Tahaji P. Henson when they, I think the movie won, but not her as the actor for, um, the one where she was the mathematician. She played Catherine. Uh, what's her name? Um, oh, oh, when, when the three chicks and they was the ones that helped th them go to space. Yeah, they played the, yeah, they I, played the NASA computers. I can't think of it, but that was based, that was more based on, um, a true story. So, I understand it, but my point is, is that they give. I mean, the hurricane was based on a true story. That's right. You it know? Was. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I mean, but the 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 thing is, is that they generally just don't give black actors Oscars for playing good roles. I mean, occasionally hidden they figures, do. Larry, they, the name was Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures. That's right. Yeah. So that was a great one. I mean, one some of the rare times they they give black actors. I mean, it's very rare. Denzel won one in. Denzel won one in a for what I thought was a positive role. Some black people didn't, but the role where he played in the the best supporting actor role that uh, Oscar he got for Glory. Some people didn't think that his character was, you know, was positive. I thought his character was probably very realistic. You have a young man who's been in slavery, escaped, was violent and angry, and was willing to fight and wanted to fight everybody and everything around him. And a lot of black people didn't like seeing that, but I can only imagine how how many of us are angry now. Just what we see, I can't even imagine how much anger you would feel if you were actually had been in bondage and escaped. So I'm okay with that, even though. But that was one. The only other time I could really think of is like Jamie Foxx's character when he won for Ray, and there was a lot of aspects of that Ray character that a lot of people were like, "This is a negative role." They're showing him as a as a ultra philandering drunk you know junkie and just there was so much negativity about him in there but i think you needed that to tell the real story of the man which is fine but those are the only two where i can see where they probably where black people played probably a positive role or mostly a positive role and got an oscar usually it's something else it's some the help and people are playing maids or mammies or you know or drug dealers or something it's just and I, don't get me wrong. It's not like there's a ton. Or, or you have like Holly Berry playing that role where she's some basically homeless, you know, some some whatever, not homeless, but some downtrodden chick who basically gets starts having sex with a racist white man. It's like the Hollywood gets on his bullshit when it comes to black actors winning Oscars and, and the roles that they should have won them for versus the roles that they do win. And and people recognize what the Academy actually will will deliver Oscars on. And then those had those types of movies, those types of stories have a tendency to, to get made more often because people want to win those awards. And it's shameful. I, I, I know that nowadays, because there are more people of color, there has been a very concerted effort within the Academy to diversify the voting, you know, the, the, uh, the voting parts, you know, the voting members of the Academy, that there are more actors of color, there's more women. And I, and I, think and i hope that it's changing not just the number of people that are being recognized not the different types of people being recognized but the types of films and the types of stories that are being recognized hmm. well ladies and gentlemen it doesn't matter what your barometer is for measuring how good an actor is um, whether it's hardware denzel has that longevity denzel has that range Denzel has that. It doesn't matter what you try to use as criteria for the best actor. And Denzel's going to be in every category. He checks every box. I can't think of anyone that I could put in a higher box than him. And that's not to say that George Clooney is not a phenomenal actor, because he is. You could probably put him in a Sean Connery. People might would say he's one of the greatest to ever do it. It doesn't matter what box or criteria you put for best actor. And we're talking about people who transcend time. Denzel is one of those people. And so if they ever decide to create a Hall of Fame for actors, Denzel is definitely getting in there. 
Well, they do. They have the the Oscars, the Academy Awards have a they have you know the Lifetime Achievement Awards that they hand out to people. There are some people who never have won an Oscar, but their body of work is so substantial that they will give them a Lifetime Achievement Award. And there are people that have done that. And he's getting, if you look, he's getting if you, in. He's definitely getting in. Well, he's in already because he's won two Oscars. Exactly. So he's already he's already in that conversation to, to as one of the best because he's won two Oscars. But but let's just like you like you were mentioning just with his range and the different types of roles he's played. This dude has played all kinds of roles from from very serious roles like the Hurricane. He's played sort of you know the uh, you know sort of the the good cop bad cop thing like he did with you know with. Uh, with Training Day, he's played an action hero in you know in Marvel movies with uh, with the Equalizer. You know he's played he's played all kinds of stuff. He's been in he's been in that that other terrible action movie that came out with John Lithgow right after he won his first Oscar, and I can't remember the name of that movie now. Uh, uh, Mucell- Ricochet. Mucell- is saying he's on the committee now. Also, wow. So I mean, yeah. What more can you say? I mean the dude the dude checks all the boxes. He checks all the boxes. And 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 I, I personally have to say, and I know and I know people are gonna say, Oh, you're biased because you're black and he's black. No, I just genuinely think that if you look at all the actors out there and the actors that have played different types of roles and and have done all of them extraordinarily well, Denzel is the greatest actor I'm going to say right now of all time because when you look at back at some of the older actors that people would say were the best like like Marlon Brando or Charlton Heston or even more recently when you look at people like you know Dustin Hoffman and and uh and Jack Nicholas and and some of those they're good actors but I don't see them with the same range that Denzel has. I see them. I see a lot of those actors generally playing the same types of roles over the course of their career, and they do it really well. But I don't see them playing different types of roles, branching out and really expanding their their range. And Denzel has. And the only thing I can't think of Denzel really doing as of any sort of time recently is sort of like a true slapstick type comedy, but those aren't really recognized. People that do those aren't really recognized for their acting prowess anyways, even though they should be, you know, the only other actor out there, the only other actor out there that I would say there's two really, but probably one that I would say would probably be in the same conversation would probably be, you know, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. I would say they would be in the same conversation, but I feel like those two, in a lot of ways, you know, have done. Have they? 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 They're in that same situation where they haven't had that. They? They always don't show their whole range. Like I think they could do the same thing, but they haven't always showed their entire range. I think De Niro has done so more than Pacino. Like I love the fact that De Niro did those comedies with uh with what's his name with uh. With the uh, what's the kid that when they did the Fockers the movie Meet the Fockers and and um, the other one where he played the father, you know he played the father of the of the woman that was coming home to get to introduce her her fiance to him and the guy what's it something Ben something I got forgot his name he's a comedian he was a nurse and the guy was like a former CIA you know asset or agent and it's just a whole bunch of craziness that ensues but he it was it was a real true comedy. And he did another comedy where he did the one with Billy Crystal, where he played the mob boss that had to go in to get therapy. And he did that really, really well. And I think that he was it was fantastic to show his range. And and so I think probably so that even mentioned just thinking of that, I would have to say I would probably put De Niro in that same category more so than Al Pacino. So, you know. Well, I'm gonna say was, probably if you're gonna the only person out there, I don't know, somebody whoever had the audacity to mention Leonardo DiCaprio needs to go back and slap themselves. That was I mean, come on, I'm not dissing Leo like he can't act, but you're not putting Leonardo DiCaprio in the same conversation with with Denzel Washington and and Robert De Niro. I mean, that's just utter absurdness right there. Well, we're gonna move on to Buzz's number. I will say Denzel's definitely he's in the category one through three or four. And he moves up for me because he had to overcome barriers that a lot of other people didn't have to overcome. You got to think Denzel has been around since the 80s. And the the times back then 
were nowhere the way they are now, and he was able to overcome those barriers way back then. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna say it. No, that's up. it. That's it. No more. We well, got, can we I really go. say one no, last thing, please? No, no, no. That's I'll it. I'll keep it short. I, and when you say short, I mean 15 seconds short. Oh, go ahead. All right. So here's the thing. Is all this talk about who's the best actor, I think we also have to consider – women in that because we separate them as categories but we're not talking about them and there are actors out there like like Meryl Streep who has won multiple Oscars more than the men have won and she has probably had a, had more limitations put on her on her career as a woman than some of the men have and so we have to add the women in the conversation too oh yeah yeah well I agree with that um I, I, I agree with that she's one maybe we'll come back and do best women actors but 